Moving right along, folks. Please help me welcome to the cage, representing RSSA, Sergio Martinez. Here we anticipate the debut of Sergio Martinez. Six foot tall, 28 years of age, representing RSSA. Weighed in at a solid 257 pounds. Looking to make a successful debut here tonight. Got some big boys in there for this one. Yeah, this fight be contested in the heavyweight division. You know what I'm saying? My prediction, let's see a first round knockout. Oh, I'd like that. Give me one. Sergio yeah. Martinez making his debut tonight. You know what I'm saying? So that's great. First time for everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's cool. I remember. Oh, it seems we have a, a wardrobe malfunction right now for some reason. They're dress coding his shorts. Man, this is something. Does he have pockets, maybe? That's what it looks like. It looks like he got pockets on his shorts. Uh, as long as he doesn't have anything inside the pockets, that, should, that would. They're going to take a quick check. Box, you, can get the, you can get the foot caught in the pocket. Oh, that's like, a good point right there, AJ. Oh, Possibly definitely... get the feet caught in there. Man, this might be the one of the first where they're going to have to. Send the guy to the back and maybe reset for later in the night. Oh, Lord have mercy. Out, he's gonna have to, okay, they're gonna turn the shorts inside out. Or he's just gonna fight his draws. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. That's a first, ladies and gentlemen. In, inside out would have been a better choice, in my humble opinion. Or even if they had a pair of scissors, perhaps even just cut the pockets off. You know whatever. What? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was the pockets for sure. <laughs> yeah, they're calling, asking if they should do a replay. No, I think we're going to see plenty of this and we've seen in enough. the next three rounds. So, hey, he's here to fight. There you have him, Sergio Martinez. Pocket shorts or not, this man is ready to throw down. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the opponent makes his way to the cage, representing Streamline, Jared Viesca. Twenty-one-year-old Jared Viesca making his debut here tonight. Tallest fighter on the card at six foot six, weighed in officially at 249 pounds. Representing Streamline Fitness, this should be interesting, gentlemen. They got the tall six foot six fighter going against the heaviest fighter of the night. What do you like? Yeah, you know, for me then, Jared Viesca being the tallest fighter on the card, heavyweight. Big for the weight class right here. Just keep it at range and keep that distance. Work behind his jab and work behind his kicks and his straight punches. And then I would say for Sergio Martinez being the shorter fighter, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, close the distance, throw the big bombs, and try to just go for that knockout quick. That's my humble opinion. There you see the tail of the tape. 21-year-old Jared Viesca standing at six foot six, taking on the 28-year-old six foot tall Sergio Martinez. It's gonna be an interesting story that unfolds before us. Jared Viesca enters into the cage and he is ready for action. Let's make this official, hand it over to our ring announcer, Colin Cantrell. Ladies and gentlemen, our fifth fight of the evening is being brought to us by Ashley King Properties and is scheduled for three rounds of three minutes each in the Elevate FC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet tall, weighed in at 240 pounds. Making his debut this evening and fighting out of Brownsville, Texas, Sergio Bazooka Martinez. And across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet, six inches tall, weighed in at 248 pounds. Also making his, his debut this evening, fighting out of Cypress, Texas, Jared Biesca. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action, Joe Solis. Sergio Martinez 
And Jared Viesco getting ready for war. It's gonna be an interesting one. Our first heavyweight fight of the evening. The, uh, the cup man, Jace Petrie, came by and reminded me of my pro debut where my opponent didn't have a cup when he walked out, okay. causing about a 10 minute delay. <laughs> six foot six, taking on six foot tall. There you see the height difference. Well, I'll tell you what right here, Sergio looking good right there with the guard, put his guard up very tight and really tried to close that distance and he slammed, he tried to throw that overhand over the top. I think that's gonna be one of the big shots for him right there, that overhand, that left hook, when he tries to close the distance. Both fighters looking for their first kickboxing victory here tonight. So, trying to dust off whatever butterflies that they got going into this matchup. It's a good right hand. Yeah, Sergio just coming forward with that pressure and a very tight, tight helmet guard right here. Viesca though, oh. unloading on the fence right now. Dude, he, he's, gotta, he's gotta defend. And a big right hand right wow. here. Viesca's throwing some bombs right now on the fence. And both fighters showing you what they can do. Viesca showing what he can do from the outside. Martinez showing what he can do when he is able to score from the inside. Oh, yeah, Martinez wow. looking to keep that guard tight right now. See some heavy leather here thrown, ladies and gentlemen. Fiesca looking I mean, to impose some of his finesse right there with that range. Go ahead, AJ, sorry. Uh, is Martinez just kind of putting his head down and bulling forward. And he, he's kind of leaving himself open to uppercuts and stuff, but he's just... There's not, he's not putting up enough to back Viesca off of him. Yeah, Viesca, he's really putting his combinations together really well. And once he's got him here on the fence, he's unloading right now. Oh, oh. little takedown right there, eh? That. You're not allowed to do that in kickboxing, I don't believe. Yeah, you know, he needed something, though, right now, because Viesca was unloading with the bombs. He needed something to get him off him. Yeah, if nothing else, just break the momentum there, even if it was a foul. For sure. Oh, good outside kick. The biggest shot Viesca's landed. Martinez Especially right there. Mar Martinez, yeah. Martinez still moving forward though. It's 40 seconds to go. Looking for that big haymaker. Can he land it? Yeah, I mean when he's in on the top, when he's in tight right now, that's when Martinez, Sergio Martinez right there is gonna do some of his best work. Especially be being 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 the shorter fighter. Solid jab there from Viesca. There's that uppercut you were saying right yeah, there, AJ. Man. He's just ducking his head and coming forward. Yeah, 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 I hear you, I hear you. I like, I like the tight, I like the guard right there, you know what I'm saying? He managed to just tighten his elbows up just a little bit the um, to the is, inside. The problem for me is he's not throwing enough offense to get Viesca to back up off of him. I hear you, I hear you. Round one comes to a close. Yeah, that, that felt like a dominant round for Viesca. Yeah, yeah, he really put his combinations together and he was finding his shots for sure. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here. There we see the closing of round one. Seeing a replay of happen to <laughs> oh my goodness take gracious. off the shorts there. They put the replay like this. Huh? Oh, they, they wilded. it. <laughs> <laughs> here goes Martinez coming forward with some overhands. A left kick for Martinez right here. Viesca with the jumping knee and unloading, unloading, unloading some knees and some hooks right here. Oh, yeah, These are those combinations. Good flurry. And then the takedown. Yeah, based off the body types, this fight's going exactly as you would predict it to be with Viesca being the taller fighter, controlling everything from the outside, landing the more finesse and higher volume of the punches while it sound, it's looking like Martinez is just looking for that one punch knockout. He's gonna need it this second round right now for Sergio Martinez. He's closing the distance. Now all he needs to do is just aim and try to land right on the chin, you know what I'm saying? For Jared Viesca, just keep the momentum in his favor right now and just keep the fight where he wants it right now. Viesca looking to pick up where he left off, controlling the outsides. Leg kicks now for Martinez, first ones we've seen thus far. Pepper in that jab, Viesca is. As Martinez still, oh, 
Probably best punch landed for Martinez so far in the fight. That straight left there down the goes, middle. Right here, yeah, Sergio Martinez. He's coming forward. He's coming forward. He's being aggressive with the pressure. And it's an adjustment because in the first round, he was coming forward in a defensive position, getting lit up. Now he's coming forward, throwing offense, and not leaving himself open. Yeah, no, well said right now. That's good. I, lo I, lo I love to see that right there from Sergio. And then from Viesca right now, he's staying on his bike, circling right, trying not to let Martinez back him up against the fence as he tries to pick his shots, pick his shots from the outside. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut right there from Viesca. Oh, the jab in the footwork, but there's Martinez Viesca. closing the distance, big landing the big punches, hooks. Man, big punches over the top. He needs to just keep that going. Exactly. Had some success there. Don't stop. Right here for Martinez, he's kind of just following Viesca. If he just takes that movement to the left, he'll be able to cut him off, cut your opponent off instead of trying to follow them on a leash. You know what I'm saying? That's what they say in boxing. See, he, yeah, there we go. There goes the overhand. There it is. And a big hole. Wow. Holy Sergio oh. Martinez. Holy. With the knockout victory oh here tonight. My. Oh my goodness. Sergio Martinez with the knockout victory. And you know what? I love to see him overcome the adversity. No overcoming, overcoming the adversity of Let's the take another look at round. that, Ricky. Let's take another look at that. Over overcoming the adversity of having no shorts. And he gets the knockout victory right here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I we mean, need to get a replay of that knockout. Let's see that man, knockout. Anything can happen in the fight business. And honestly, I'll be real, oh wow. That was that was phenomenal. I mean, he, he was getting pummeled. He's getting pummeled for the first five minutes of this fight. Hey, and he did that one right there. Martinez, he's that guy right there tonight. You know what I'm saying? And it didn't matter. It didn't matter. No shorts don't matter. He came in with the big knockouts, and now he's dancing with no pants on. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, you don't need some fancy shorts to get the knockout victory. So he's, we're here to fight, not a Here's the replay. not a fashion contest. After we finish up this replay, we're going to hand it over and make this official. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 47 seconds in a round number two, your winner by knockout, Sergio Bazooka Martinez. What a debut victory for Sergio Martinez. As Ricky was saying, overcoming the adversity. Didn't need no fancy shorts. Fought I mean, here in nothing but his cup. And still just, got the knockout victory. Go ahead, AJ. Not just the not having shorts, but also getting smacked around the cage for five minutes. Yeah. And then coming through, not giving up on himself. That's a uh, 